Pound Nation, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to the evening rant. We got some Cleveland Browns talk going on here. We're going to talk a little bit about Baker Mayfield and Deshaun Watson. But before I get into all that, if you're new to my channel and you are you want to join the family, you want to join Dog Pound Nation, please take that time right now. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. So please. Join the family, join Dog Pound Nation, and hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that notification bell. So good evening to you all. Welcome to the evening rant. As we all know, Baker Mayfield's been traded to the Carolina Panthers, and he held his first press conference as a non-Cleveland Brown. And, you know, today was, the, you know, he held it as a Carolina Panther, and I got to give it to him. He held, He took the high road. You know, he was asked the obvious questions. You can only imagine what the media asked him. You know, he's got resentment towards the city, the fans, all that good stuff. And he took the high road. Got to give it to him. We got the mature Baker Mayfield. He didn't put throw things out there. He didn't throw any endos out there. He didn't do any of that stuff. Took the high road. Said we have great fans. We're great fans. We're a blue-collar, hard-working town that loves their Cleveland Browns football. Yeah, so, got to give it to him, you know. He could have said some other things, and, you know, he didn't. And, uh, but he's not lying. We are a hard-working, blue-collar town that loves our Cleveland Browns. So, you know, he just asked, you know, some things, and some things he steered away from and kept it clean, and, you know. He's just more focused on winning that starting job in Carolina. You know, he, he, he you know he stated he has no animosity towards Cleveland, to the fans, anything like that, no grudges, and uh, pretty much said see you week one. <laughs> so we will we will see. And here's the thing: a lot of people I've seen in the media do not think Baker Mayfield is going to win that starting job through training camp. They think Sam Donald's going to. You know, win that starting job out the gate week one. I beg to differ. I disagree. I think Baker's going to win that starting that starting job. I think he's going to win it right out of training camp. I think there's no comparison. I think Baker is the better quarterback between the two. And I think Baker's smart enough to get that playbook down. And, you know, I just think he's a better quarterback. He's... You know, to me, I think he's better. I could be wrong. I don't think Sam Darnold's that good of a quarterback by any means. Yeah, I know Baker's had some accuracy issues. I do believe his injury played a huge role in that last year. Uh, but Sam is just, he's just not accurate. He, yeah, I know Baker has a hard time with reading the defense, but Sam can't read one at all. And uh, I just think Baker is all around just a better quarterback. I think he's going to be their week one in Carolina under center while the Cleveland Browns beat the Carolina Panthers. So it's going to be interesting. It is surely going to be interesting. And I, I'm a firm believer the Browns are going to handle business with Brissett. I think the defense is I think the defense is going to be too much. They're a top five defense. They're going to be elite in my in my opinion. Um, it's if we stay healthy. I think we stay healthy. I think we're gonna give Baker, you know, all he can handle, and so, so Brown's gonna win that game. We will see. Now, Deshaun Watson talk. As we all know, it is getting down to the nitty gritty. All right, it's it's in the hands of Sue Robinson right now. The district court judge there that the NFL has hired to handle these cases. And, you know, from what anything I've been listening and reading into, it, it sounds like it's more in the favor of Deshaun Watson. Am I wrong? Or am I right? I, it just sounds like, you know, the whole thing with one of the victims, with the son that came out, spoke that the mom was going to give some hush hush money you know to keep her, you know his mouth shut you know and you know the relationship with Watson and his mother was 
It was good money. Nothing happened. And she was looking to get paid, and she came out, you know, and it's all on recording, stating that, you know, I'll give you some hush-hush money. That looks bad. You know, if, if, if that was me, if I was a judge, and I had to make a decision on this, I would have to look at all these cases and really think to myself, how can I, how can I, you know, give out a consequence knowing that this has already came out? How do I, I mean, I'd have a hard time disciplining somebody if there was a possibility that this person could be an, an innocent person, which I will always believe, I do believe that there was probably some foul play, but I think, like I've always said, this is a money grab. I think a lot of these women are in it for the money, and, you know, it went south. I think there might be a woman or two, you know, one or two girls that got pissed off at him. He probably did get fresh with them. But I don't think it's to the certain, you know, to, to these uh, circumstances that have been mentioned. I really don't believe all that. You know, it, the truth always comes out in the end. Sometimes it might come out too late. But I'm a firm believer. I am a firm believer that, you know, Deshaun's going to be suspended. But I don't think it's going to be for a, hand, you know, for a year. I don't think it's going to be indefinite. I think that he's going to get six to eight games. I think she's going to have to give out something. And there's that possibility that they, you know, I, I, I don't see how I can suspend this kid at all. I've heard that come out. You know, that could very well happen. You know, uh, so, I mean, it, it's, it's, I don't know. I think the NFL, it, they're, they're pretty, they've been pretty sloppy with this. Um, you know, it just seems like the pendulum's swinging more with Deshaun Watson, if you ask me. I, 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 I I don't know what the NFL. Yeah, I'll turn that around. There's guys. What the, what the NFL has been trying to accomplish, you know, I I really don't. And, and you would think that they knew this was gonna come to come to light, you know, some of these things. And it, it's, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless on it. it. It's, I don't know. I I hope Deshaun is on that field ASAP. Uh, if you ask me, you know. It seems like the NFL is kind of painted themselves in a corner. Am I right or wrong? You know, but then I see, and then I hear these guys coming on 92.3 The Fan stating that, you know, you, you, you know, Watson, they're still thinking that he's going to be suspended a while. and But I don't see it. I really don't. I see him getting eight games. I see him appealing it, getting it down to six. So... We'll see. It just, to me, it doesn't look good with all the things that came out, you know, for the NFL. It just doesn't look good for their team. I mean, if I was, like I said, trying to make a decision on something and, you know, this comes out about one of the victims. Yeah, she. I don't think she was interviewed by the NFL, but she still was a victim that was part of this case that was offering hush-hush money looking to get paid. Doesn't look good. But anyway, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, what do you think? I want to hear how many games do you think Deshaun Watson is going to get suspended? Really think about it. Think about the you know the whole picture and let me know in the comments below how many games you think Deshaun's going to be suspended. Honest opinion, Browns fan or non-Browns fan, um, just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to get this out to you guys. Got to get in the store real quick. Um, get a few things, and I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. And if you haven't yet, and you want to be a you know join the family, be a part of this family, please take that time, hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, and join the family. Everybody, God bless, stay safe, and uh, until next time, go back. <laughs>